Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me on this makeup look and I'll also show you an outfit. So this is just like a fall get ready with me um, an outfit of the day. I want to try to recreate the look that I did this past Saturday. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram. It's kind of like a dramatic fall makeup look. I'll just like insert it so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, that's the look that I'd like to try to recreate. And the foundation I wore that day was the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I love this foundation. It's definitely one of my favorite high-end foundations. And the shade that I currently wear is shade 1. And then I'm just using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend this foundation in. And I'm just going to add a little more foundation to certain areas that I want a little more coverage. And I also have my bathrobe on. <laughs> this isn't the outfit I'm going to be wearing today. I do really like this bathrobe though. It's like a Betsy Johnson one and it's really cute. I'm going to try to show you guys. But it has like a heart like on the back side of it. I don't know. I think it's so cute. Then for my concealer, I'm just going in with my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. And this is in the shade Avery. This past Saturday, Josh and I, we went to... Um, Jim Beam. It was like the very end of our vacation and we've been doing the Kentucky Bourbon Tour or Bourbon Trail and um, I had actually been to Jim, Jim Beam before like Josh and I we both had like separate times um, but yeah I really like that one on the Bourbon Tour like it's probably my favorite one that we've been on so far and then next I'm gonna set my under eye concealer with my e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder. Really cool to go there and see that there's like a distillery like so close to where I grew up. It's just really, really pretty there. It's really pretty for pictures. Maybe I can like insert some of the pictures that we took while we were there. It was just really pretty. It was like the perfect day too. And then I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the shade Soft Ivory. And I'm just using my e.l.f. Kabuki brush to pat this in. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Contouring Palette. And I'm just going to use this shade right here. I actually did quite a bit of contouring that day. So I might go back and contour more. Just depends on, you know, how dark I make everything. Because my lips were super dark. And I just found that I needed to contour more. But I'm just going to go in with this amount first. It's better if you start with a little bit. And you can always add more. And then I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil to kind of blend this out and bronze my face up a little bit. You guys gave us like such great feedback on the boyfriend does my makeup when Josh did my makeup. Like he was reading all the comments and he really liked it. And I had, we both had so much fun filming that video. So maybe I can eventually talk him into me doing his makeup. I'm just going in with a Maybelline micro brow pencil thing brow precise micro brow pencil and this is in the shade soft brown i really like this brow pencil and i also really like the l'oreal one and the nyx one i feel like all these little micro brow pencils from the drugstore are really awesome and then i just use the little spoolie to just kind of run it through my brows again and then to set my brows in place i'm just using the elf eyebrow treat and tame this is in the shade dark just like a good tinted brow gel. And I am going to go ahead and get my lash glue like down on a surface so it can start to get a little tacky. I found this trick from um, Shannon Harris on from Shane XO. But this is the way I always apply my false lashes. So you just put it down on like a round kind of surface. So I'll just use like a clean um, foundation bottle. And I just squirt some um, lash glue on there. And then I just kind of set it over to the side so it can get kind of tacky while I'm doing my makeup. And then I'm just going to use my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. And just put this underneath my brows. Just helps to make your brows look even more defined. And just kind of cleans up underneath your brows. Okay, and then that day I put down this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk just to really make my eyeshadows pop. And I'm just gonna put some shadow shields down to catch any eyeshadow fallout that I might have. I'm gonna go in with my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. And I'm going to use this middle shade right here. This kit is in the shade Light. 
This look is kind of more about the liner and the lips than the eyeshadow really. So if you don't have these exact colors, like if you don't have like this exact palette or whatever, just like any kind of similar colors that I'm using for this will work. I'm just going in with the Sigma um, pencil E30 brush and I'm just blending this on the lower lash line. I went in with a couple of different colors here, but first I'm going to go in with this brown in this uh, Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. And I'm going to put this here on the lower lash line and I'm also going to work it like here in the outer V and also take it up here in the crease. I'm just kind of gradually making the crease darker, like just giving it some depth. Now I am going to add a little bit of this brown to this brush and just lightly work it out here. And kind of running it on the lower lash line. Okay, next for the eyelid, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Ultimate Naked Basics. And I'm using this first shade here. This is in the color Blow. And I'm just packing that all over the lid, just up to the crease where that dark color is. And then I use the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. And I'm gonna go in with Faint. That's what I used the day that I did this eyeshadow look. Um, and I'm just going to also work this here in the outer V on the lower lash line, just deepening up that crease even more. And I am gonna take just a little bit of this on the lid too, right in here. And then I'm just going back with the E25 blending brush and just blending this out. And you could always use different browns if you wanted. You could use like warmer browns um, if you wanted the look to be warmer. I am gonna go back in with my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit and I'm just gonna use this highlight shade up top and I'm going to use this underneath my brow bones on top of that concealer. And then I'm just going in with a Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm gonna use my um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil to just kind of warm my crease up a little. And then I'm gonna go um, in with the bronzer now and I'm gonna run some of it here on the lower lash line. Then for my inner corner highlight, I'm going back in with my Brow Fix Brow Kit and that highlight shade again. And I'm just gonna put this here in my inner corner to brighten this up. For the waterline, I'm just going in with my Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil in the dark brown color. I'm just gonna put some of this here on my waterline and also on my tight line. I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Eye Booster Pen and this is just in the black one. And let's hope I can get this liner as dramatic as I did it that day. So I'm gonna do this a little different than I normally do my liner. I'm gonna start with the wing first. I'm gonna go ahead and take black on the lower lash line. So I just used the Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil, the black one, and I drew some of it like where it connected with the liner. I'm just gonna use my Sigma concealer brush to smudge this liner out down here. And then any type of just like matte black eyeshadow will work. And I'm just going to go back in with the Naked Basics. You could probably do this whole eye look with the Naked Basics palette too if you have this one. Um, but yeah, like that day I just used different things. Getting some of this shadow, the black shadow in the color Crave on this brush. And then I did tap off the excess because you don't want to get this black shadow on your foundation. Um, and I just kind of like smudged it up here above the liner 
Now, if you like the really defined liner look and you didn't want to smudge it, you could totally like skip doing this, but that is what I did that day. And also too, if you have like a hard time getting your liner straight, this will kind of help camouflage your mess ups, which is kind of why I smoked it out that day. I kind of had a bad like liner day, even though at the end it didn't look like it did. And then I kind of took the tip of it and kind of smoked it out a little bit at the very tip. Um, and I also kind of smoked this lower part out a little bit too. And for my mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Car Carbon Black. And I'm just doing a light coat of that on my lashes. Okay, so the day that I did that makeup in that picture, I had these lashes on, which are the Kiss Number 3s. But, and I lost one of the lashes. I don't know how that happened. Um, but I think I'm going to actually, whoops, I just dropped something. I think I'm going to actually wear these. I think they look a lot prettier with this look. This is the Kiss Lashes, the number 11s. So I'm just going in with that glue nail that's gotten a little bit more tacky. Place those there. And then, I usually like to try to stick this corner down first so I can position it where I want it and then uh, stick that corner in. And then I'm just going to put some mascara on my lower lashes which I'm going in with my CoverGirl the Super Sizer now just because I like this mascara on my lower lashes because it doesn't smudge. Then for the lips, the lipstick I was wearing that day was this Wet n Wild uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Don't Be a Plum Plum. Now I think this was like a limited edition color for their fall liquid lipsticks this year, but I'm sure that there are some similar like matte liquid lipsticks out there and if I can find some similar ones I will link them down in the description box for you guys or if I can find this online I'll link it down below. First I just go in with the e.l.f. small smudge brush and I just kind of line my lips with it first. And then for my blush I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the color Rose Champagne. It's a really pretty just natural blush. It looks really great with this look because it's not like too overpowering and it just looks natural. And then I did use a super intense highlight that day and I used the Kathleen Lights Makeup Geek um, highlighter in this very, um, in the middle color here. And this is in the shade Starlight. It's just a really pretty kind of whitish pink. And I just brushed that on my cheekbones, kind of built it up. So I got it to the intensity that I wanted it. And then I put a little bit here on the tip of my nose. So that is the makeup look completed. So this is what the eyes look like. And the really pretty highlight and the lips. And then I'm gonna show you guys my fall outfit. Okay, so this is my fall outfit that I wore this past Saturday, and I really like this outfit with this makeup look, especially like the scarf. Um, I'll have to zoom in to like show you the boots and everything, but these boots that I have on, they're kind of like in between a riding boot and a cowboy boot. Um, but I got these boots at Target a couple of years ago. They have this really cute buckle on them, and then they're just like a fake kind of soft suede. And then I'm just wearing black leggings that I got from Express. They're just a solid black pair that they always sell like every year. Um, and then my button up shirt that I have on, I also got this top from Express. A little closer so you guys can see it, a little better up close. Um, so yeah, that's what this button up shirt looks, looks like. It's just a boyfriend style um, shirt from Express. They have like several different like colors and stuff in this style. And I really like this. I have a couple of other shirts um, in different colors in the style. I just really like this shirt with like leggings or jeans. It's just really comfortable and relaxed. And you can also roll it up to like quarter length sleeve if you want to. And then this is the scarf. Just really like the colors in this for fall. It's just a plaid scarf that I got from Forever 21. If you guys did enjoy this where I included an outfit at the end and also like where I just did like a little chit chat with you, please let me know. Give it a thumbs up or let me know down in the comments and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.